up you guys welcome back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony that is me on the screen right there i review new cars on youtube today i wanted to compare two of them i have already driven and reviewed this year being the 2020 toyota highlander versus the 2020 honda pilot this is a legendary rivalry reason being is because both are very reliable three row family SUVs and so but if you're new to my comparisons essentially what I do is I compare the top 10 key differences trying to make it easier for people to make a decision between the two with a clear winner at the end of the video so with all of that being said what do you say let's just jump right into it and let's start with number 10 on the list it's for my first comparison as always I like to compare price 2020 Toyota Highlander L is going to start at a price of $34,600 2020 Pilot LX starts at a price of $31,650 so therefore starting price wise the Pilot is going to be less expensive by $2,950 then if you were to compare the upper trim levels the very top trims 2020 Highlander Platinum starts at $48,800 however there actually is a hybrid platinum starting at 50,200 if you wanted the hybrid configuration that is 2020 pilot black edition is the top trim level there starting at $49,720 therefore including the hybrid trim level of the Highlander that the pilot does not have pilot is less expensive there as well by $480 which gives the pilot the early lead one to nothing pilot in the lead Next comparison is going to be the power differences. 2020 Highlander comes with a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, 295 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 263 pound-feet of torque available at 4,700 RPM. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 7.2 seconds according to Motor Trend. On the other hand, 2020 Honda Pilot comes with a 3.5 liter direct injected V6, 280 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 262 pound-feet of torque available at 4,700 RPM, 0 to 60 time approximately 6.3 seconds once again according to Motor Trend. So the Honda Pilot is nearly a full second quicker to 60 miles per hour than the Toyota Highlander and that could be due in part for many reasons. It could be gearing, it could be the transmission, or it could be the fact that the Honda Pilot is 177 pounds less than the Toyota Highlander which is going to play a big part in that as well but nonetheless Honda Pilot takes this comparison as well putting our score two to nothing Pilot is still in the lead it's the next comparison on the list here is going to be reliability I typically like to use consumer reports reason being it's because they don't actually take any money from any manufacturers they purchase their own vehicles therefore since they are an independent organization you can assume they are pretty reliable when it comes to reliability standards 2020 Highlander they scored an above average Average reliability rating for 2020 Honda Pilot they gave an average reliability rating so and having said that Toyota really has a solid history of building the most reliable vehicles out there of any other manufacturer to date that's why they're the number one selling manufacturer in the world so therefore Toyota Highlander is going to take this one as well putting our score at two to one Honda Pilot is still in the lead and so next comparison is going to be interior quality and so both offer plenty of soft touch materials both offer ambient lighting leather seating and panoramic moonroofs if you wanted them when it comes to the differences though the Toyota Highlander comes with a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display that is new for 2020 you gotta love it on the other hand the Honda Pilot comes with an 8 inch color touchscreen display and since I kind of alluded to it at this point in the game the Honda Pilot's design when it comes to the interior is kind of outdated for the most part Toyota Highlander gives you now a 3d effect to the tech display kind of a Lexus like finish Pilot tech is built into the dash which is pretty standard at this point that's kind of the traditional approach to interior tech design the other thing that's kind of outdated with the pilot is it uses those small rocking chair style armrests in the front for both the driver and passenger I also like how the Toyota Highlander uses multiple storage areas built into the dash as well it's very convenient and again this all comes down to the Toyota Highlander being a more recently refreshed vehicle than the Honda pilot so therefore it's safe to conclude Toyota Highlander definitely has more to it when it comes to interior quality now which puts our score at an even two to two tie ball game next comparison on my list is going to be cargo space 2020 toyota highlander comes in at 16 cubic feet behind that third row when it comes to the honda pilot 16.5 cubic feet behind that third row so 0.5 cubic feet more with the honda pilot then when it comes to total cargo space now and that's really what counts in the end toyota highlander comes in at 84.3 cubic feet again with all rows folded 
grid. 2020 Honda Pilot comes in at 83.8 cubic feet with all rows folded. So again, Toyota Highlander wins the cargo space comparison. So that now puts us at a score of three to two. Toyota Highlander in the lead. Next on my comparison list here is going to be ride quality and handling. Very important comparison here. Both offer very smooth rides. Having driven both of them, I can certainly attest to that. Not anything that blows you out of the water like a luxury manufacturer would, but certainly a very smooth ride in both cases there. Both come standard with the McPherson strut front suspension, multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, and again, ride quality is good in both. However, when it comes to the handling and the steering feel comparing them, that is where they're going to differ slightly. So Honda is typically known for having heavier steering feels, not as heavy as Mazda, let's say, but still a very nice feel to it. So again, having driven both of them, I would definitely say the Honda Pilot offers that better steering feel comparing it to the Highlander, more of a direct response when you're turning. That's typically what you get with little weightier steerings. So ultimately that puts us back at a tie ball game. It is now three to three. Let's make our way to rear legroom. So when it comes to the rear legroom, 2020 Toyota Highlander in the third row comes in at 27.7 inches, which means my Ford Mustang GT has more rear legroom than the Toyota Highlander in that third row at least. When it comes to the 2020 Honda Pilot in that third row, 31.9 inches. So when it comes to the third row at least, Honda Pilot takes the win there. But let's take a look at the second row legroom though. 2020 Toyota Highlander comes in at 41 inches even, 2020 Honda Pilot, 38.4 inches. So Highlander would win that second row comparison. So with the Honda Pilot winning the third row, the Toyota Highlander winning the second row, I'm going to have to call this one a tie, which means we're still tied up at three to three. Next comparison on my list is going to be fuel economy. And so with this, I'm just going to compare the all wheel drive configurations because quite honestly, a very small percentage of people purchase front wheel drive SUVs these days. But 2020 Toyota Highlander gives you 20 in the city, 27 highway for the non-hybrid configuration because if you were to go with that hybrid, you can actually get 35 MPGs in the city, 35 MPGs on the highway. That is crazy for a three row SUV. So on the other hand, when it comes to the Pilot, 19 in the city, 26 highway. And again, the Pilot doesn't offer a hybrid configuration. So really, either way you go with, the Toyota Highlander is gonna give you either slightly more MPGs or a lot more, seeing as the Honda Pilot doesn't come with a hybrid configuration. So therefore, gotta give this one to the Toyota Highlander, putting us out a score of four to three, Highlander in the lead. Next comparison then is going to be safety. 2020 Highlander is an IIHS top safety pick. 2020 Honda Pilot, also an IIHS top safety pick. In addition to that, both received five-star overall ratings by NHTSA, also a very good thing. However, there is one key difference when it comes to the crash worthiness according to IIHS. Toyota Highlander produced all good scores when it comes to the crash worthiness. However, the Honda Pilot scored all good scores but one, the small overlap front passenger side crash test, they scored an acceptable score as opposed to the Toyota Highlander's good score, which is the best score, by the way. So therefore, this means that the Highlander wins my particular safety comparison for that reason alone there, putting our score at five to three, Toyota Highlander is in the lead. That's it for my last comparison. We all know who's going to win my comparison at this point braking this is very important so if you wanted to come to a very quick stop and rush hour traffic at least you're going to want to know which three row suv configuration brings you to a quicker stop in terms of 60 to zero distance in feet so that's what i'm going to give you guys here 2020 toyota highlander comes with 13.3 inch ventilated front disc 13.3 inch solid rear disc producing a stopping distance of 116 feet that's actually very impressive for a three row suv by the way 2020 honda pilot up front 12.6 six inch ventilated front disc in the back 13 inch solid rear disc stopping distance for the pilot 120 feet so therefore highlander is going to stop four feet shorter from 60 compared to the pilot therefore highlander wins the braking comparison putting us at a final score toyota highlander winning six to three in the end and so having said that although the highlander won my particular comparison that doesn't necessarily mean that it is the right choice for you Pilot does offer a substantially quicker zero to 60 time, for instance. So if you needed to do a lot of merging into traffic, maybe 
the Pilot is the better option. Also a lower starting price point, better steering feel. These are the things that you're probably gonna wanna go with the Pilot for if those were more important to you at least. But ultimately, again, Toyota Highlander is going to win my comparison. Let me know which one you guys would pick in the comments below. And as always, do appreciate you guys watching so much. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. And I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.